this is a short tutorial about how to transcribe words from a sound file using Prat. So if you have a video and you want to transcribe um, the speech, what you do is you export the sound portion of the file, uh, for instance to WAF MP3 or AIFF format. Then you download Prat and you open it. And what you see are those two windows. We only need this one, so we close this. Now you open the file, your sound file, using read from file. You open it, and you see your sound file appearing here in this list. Now you create the transcription file, which is called a text grid. And you do it by clicking annotate to text grid. Prat asks you how many layers you want to have and we just want to have one layer called words we delete this because we don't need a point here we click OK and now you see a second item appearing in this list this is the transcription uh, now you have to mark both by shift clicking on this one now both are marked and now you view them you view both the sound here and the transcription here. This is your one tier or layer called words, as you see here. Now, if you need for your transcription also the spectrogram, you can choose to display it here. You can also uh, make it bigger or smaller. You can add pitch. You can add intensity. Um, for our purposes, we will just work with the amplitude. Now, here is your sound and you can mark it by click dragging. You can mark portions of it. Uh, you can zoom in and zoom out using those buttons here. In and out. And you can play back portions of the sound. For instance, the marked portion by clicking on this bar. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you can't hear it that well because it's coming out of my external speakers. Or if you want to play back the whole thing, you click on this bar. And so what you do is you um, create segments here and then you enter your annotation here. Let's see how this works. So we zoom in a little and here's your um, here's your scroll bar. So we scroll up to the beginning and now we want to create the first segment. Uh, if you only click it makes this kind of uh, mark here um, and when you click on this circle it creates a boundary. Now you have the opportunity to just play back this part. Something, something, something. So this is the word something and if you're not satisfied with the segmentation you can drag this boundary. Something, something. So that sounds pretty well and you usually write you look at the values of the amplitude if you work only with amplitude and not with the spectrogram. So this is the word something. And you type it in here. Whoops, oh that was a mistake, wrong uh, section. You have to click on this section and then you can directly type uh, and you see it here and you see it here, right? And so this is wrong and to uh, delete this, I just go here and edit it. So I want to delete this um, and you see the green portion here is gone. Okay, uh, so I want to create the next segment and I can just click somewhere. I can also hit return to create a boundary so I assume there's a new word here and I play it back. It's She says kind of. Oh, ah, yeah, okay, you can hear it here. So you can, for instance, do like this kind, and I assume this is the other word. I mark it, play it back. She says off here, kind of. Again, I create a mark, hitting return, marking this portion, playing it back. She says peculiar, but it's a long word, it's somewhere here. Peculiar. And you can also play back, of course, this part. to see whether you kind of clipped part of the word. Has something kind of peculiar, peculiar. 
Okay, so here's the word peculiar. Okay, so now you continue. Okay, you go to the rest of the speech. You can zoom out to look at your whole um, work. Uh, and once you're finished, let's assume we're finished, you go back to this window. Now you mark only this file here because you want to save it. Uh, you click on save and now you have various options. You can save this transcription as a text file or as a short text file. You can also save it as a binary. Um, we select short text file. Please be careful to select the right one. For Anvil, for instance, you need the short text file. Okay, so um, now you can select the location. We just select the sample location and you see the extension is text grid. We save it and let's have a look at the file. Right now we have this new file, it's called sample.textgrid. Uh, let's take a closer look at it um, in a text editor because it's very simple to understand actually. So you have some header information here which basically um, the interesting things are this is the beginning uh, and this is the end of the whole sound file. Uh, you can double check this here. Uh, you see that um, the end time is the same. And here you see the number of annotations that you have in your file. So you have one, two, three, four, five uh, annotations or segments. And now the remainder of the file is structured as follows. You always have three items um, which tell you the begin time. This is zero, the end time, and the content of a segment. So first segment starts at zero and ends at, clicking on this boundary, um, 0307, and the content is something. And then the second segment begins at end time of the previous segment, uh, 0 0.307, and ends at 0 0.57. Let's double check here, 0 0.57, and the content is kind. So this is the structure of the file, just in case you want to parse it for your own purposes, and this is how to transcribe in Prod.